evening and welcome to Battleground Art Center Showcase. I am your host, Lillian Livingston. This evening, it gives me great pleasure and a big honor for Battleground Art Center to present a world-renowned Gabriella Imray, wonderful pianist. She was born in Transylvania, and at the age of five, she began her piano studies. She graduated with an artist diploma, summa cum laude, and since that time she has rocketed into fame. She has presented over 400 concerts since she arrived to the United States in 86. She has won numerous international competitions. She has performed as soloist and recitalist uh, in halls and with orchestras all over the world. She will be giving her New York debut next year in 94, and she also will, coming up, will be performing in London and Paris. So I am just delighted to present this very, very gifted artist to you this evening. And so it gives me great pleasure to introduce Gabriella Imre. Good evening. Uh, it's a wonderful pleasure to be here, Lillian. I, um, I've been looking forward for several weeks for this taping, and um, I selected um, some of the most beautiful pieces in the piano repertoire available to pianists. Uh, I will start tonight's performance with Chopin Etude Opus 10, number 12, in C minor, The Revolutionary. on the program is the beautiful Nocturne, uh, also by Chopin, in D flat major, opus 27, number one. Thank you. 
Next I will play for you a group of Chopin Preludes, Opus 28.
chosen two works by Russian composer Alexander Skriavin, his Prelude Op. 11 No. 10 and Etude Op. 42 No. 5, both in C-sharp minor. And now I would like to welcome personally on my show, Gabriella Imre. Thank you. That was an absolutely powerful performance.
you are so incredibly musical and sensitive. I don't know, I was just like in another world. It's just, uh, I thank you so much for appearing on the show and sharing your beautiful talents with us. Oh, my, that was such a thrill. Uh, I hinted in my opening comments over your wonderful background that you've had. And I wonder if you could fill in for our audience some of, uh, you know, the more personal details of your wide background, beginning, I know, from the fact uh, when you were 16 years old, really, you performed with the orchestra. And it's not very early, though. Yeah. It was my first professional appearance. Um, I've played with orchestra earlier, too, yeah. um, but at 16, it was the first time with a professional orchestra. And since then, I know that the reviews from the paper were just marvelous. You were just like uh, one of Romania's outstanding artists. Most times. Yes. <laughs> and what about some of the competitions that you won? Uh, I entered, um, in Romania there are several uh, national competitions that are very important for coming up uh, mm. young artists. And uh, they are uh, very competitive, very difficult. They go in several rounds until the national level. And um, I entered in one, uh, a couple of the more prestigious ones, uh, Kintaria Romaniei National Festival. And that doesn't mean too much, but uh, uh, that was probably the most important. And um, a couple of uh, competitions designed specially for young artists in Romania. And you have indeed performed all over the world. Yes, pretty much, but uh, there's a lot of places to go still. And I would like to say something on a little personal that uh, your husband, uh, Daniel Maestro, Daniel Spaulding, is a wonderful conductor. He's also conductor of our Battleground Arts Center Orchestra, but he is also of international fame. Right, yes. correct? That, yes, uh, I think so. Have you ever had the opportunity to perform together? You know, many times. It, that, this is actually how um, our married life started, too. We, we didn't meet performing together, but backstage at the concert, and very soon after we met, we were able to perform together as conductor and soloist, and um, our first was the Emperor Concerto by Beethoven, and uh, later we pretty much played all my repertoire together. Uh, it's more difficult in the United States because uh, we have different managers and uh, somehow our careers are parting, but uh, in Europe we perform much more together. And a few times we, we had the opportunity even in this country. As a matter of fact, we're going to play huh? <laughs> in uh, just another week together uh, with the Philadelphia Orchestra Society. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Yes. Well, I know uh, that the two of you are really a dynamic couple and very supportive of each other. It's very, very exciting to watch and behold. And you also have done a great deal to help young people. I know you have your own m music institute, correct? Yes, it's, it's, it's small yet, but it's growing and I'm very proud of uh, my students. They are uh, taking up, as all piano students, a very, very difficult challenge and um, they're moving along. What advice would you give for aspiring young people who would like to seek a professional career in music as a pianist? Uh, you know, the first advice is naturally work, 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 and right. well, that, of <laughs> work course. some more. But after that, I think it's very important for them to be strong. Um, it is a very difficult career, even in 20th century. Uh, it's very competitive. Uh, you have to be strong. You have to have faith in yourself and don't give up halfway through because you have a lot of opportunities to feel like you're ready to give up. Do you feel it's easier in Romania than it is here yes, in this country? Yes, I definitely to feel that way. There is much more state subsidy for the arts. Uh, there is also the wonderful environment of performing arts schools, mm -hmm. which in the United States is much more um, uh, difficult to attend. There are very few in this country, and it costs a lot of money to 
uh, train a young musician. It's a big effort for the parents. And uh, on the other hand, there are many very talented teachers that make up for all the hardships. So. Well, on a personal side, I want to say that I'm very glad you're in the United States. Yes, I just became American citizen recently, and I'm very proud of it. Well, we're delighted to have you, and we're going to look forward to hearing a great deal from you and your beautiful talent. Thank you so much for appearing on the show this thank evening. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And now, I want to thank my audience. Uh, as always, I wish you a most pleasant Good evening, and concluding this evening's concert, Gabriella will play Scriabin's Prelude, Opus 13, Number 3.